in regard to uh, databases, another uh, topic and tool uh, to consider is um, structured query language, SQL. Um, now, uh, as the name says, query, um, this is for uh, obtaining information, this is for reports, um, this is not for managing the database. Uh, this is not the database engine, but um, it is a, uh, it has security provisions and, and also problems uh, to consider when we are dealing with uh, our use, our systems um, uh, in regard to uh, databases. And in particular, um, it is uh, very widely used. And, and so uh, both the, the tools and the uh, vulnerabilities uh, are something you should be aware of. Now, uh, it does have security capabilities, or it should have. Again, um, it's widely used in a variety of systems. Um, it may be implemented um, as part of the uh, database engine itself. Um, it may uh, be an add-on for this particular platform uh, related to the, the database engine. Um, so, you know, you've got a, a variety of implementations and um, it should have security capabilities. Again, you know, make sure that you check that the capabilities are there and are working. Um, it uh, uh, should prevent deadlocking uh, when the database is being used by multiple users. Now, um, in a sense, this is part and parcel of uh, how, it's, how it's used, because it is a query language um, and uh, the queries, uh, regardless of how you program the, uh, the front-end interface and how it appears to the user, are basically uh, statement requests. And, and so each individual request should be dealt with before the next one comes in. Um, when this is happening at speed, of course, uh, this is, you know, appearing to the users as if they, you know, have access to the database and uh, multiple uh, users can have access to the same record and that sort of thing. But it, it should, by virtue of the way that it functions, uh, provide for this uh, capability of, of dealing with deadlocking. Um, it, uh, however, um, as I say, very widely used and... and the uses to which it has been put um, are uh, sometimes uh, things that uh, people never thought of. For example, a very uh, wide use in uh, web transactions. Now, um, when this is dealt with on the web, um, Oh, there's there's all kinds of uh, potential problems here. Uh, for one thing, an awful lot of the development of uh, web interfaces to databases that is using uh, SQL um, simply has the um, the commands uh, formulated on the user's computer or terminal, whatever, um, and then submitted over the web. And of course, um, if we've got any uh, uh, access control, if we've got any, you know, account names, numbers, passwords, those types of things, um, they um, may be uh, transmitted just in, in the clear. It, it depends on how this is implemented. So that's one problem. Um, but, um, the other is that uh, the command is, is being, you know, submitted by the web browser 
um, and can be intercepted in transit and modified. Or even the, the user um, at, the, at the web browser um, may be able to, probably is able to, modify the submission being made uh, to the database. And, and so because uh, SQL has uh, you know, quite extensive capabilities, if we do not uh, protect those capabilities uh, or, uh, well, uh, protect the, the commands themselves. I mean, you know, there is no particular reason that we cannot uh, put some simple form of encryption on it so that um, when uh, the uh, transaction is formulated, it's not apparent to the user and it's not going to be easy for the user uh, to modify that transaction. Uh, again, you know, how extensively you want to get into that encryption depends on how important uh, uh, the, the database is uh, to you and, and how important it is that users not be able to uh, submit anything they want uh, in SQL. So, um, but, uh, you know, it is also possible to um, uh, put some kind of filter in place uh, or even uh, uh, put a, a kind of an access control on the SQL engine or the database engine saying, you know, these types of commands are not um, allowed on this channel because it's a web channel. So, um, there, there are ways and means of addressing these vulnerabilities. Uh, it's just, you know, we have to make sure that we do, in fact, do them if that is important to us. So, uh, as I say, you know, SQL, um, very widely used, knowing the, uh, the ways that it can be misused, the vulnerabilities, and, and by no means what I've said is, uh, you know, doesn't cover all the bases, I'm sure that you can readily see, uh, as I've described it, you know, forming the statements, submitting the statements. Um, there are a number of issues in that regard that we should protect against.